Welcome back to the Forensic Color Classroom. Thank you for joining us again. I'm gonna show you a quick demonstration of how to do the Delaney style. This is a, basically you can do this with fine Marino and Aero Venetiana. This is a nice black that we carry with a bronze wax. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to do this in a lighter color. Very simple. Basically what you need first is a first coat. You're going to just throw in a first coat on your walls. Everybody knows how to do a first coat already. Second coat demonstration is how to do the delaying lines. I'm going to grab my product. You don't want to put it too thin. You want to put it somewhat thick. Very important. First, I like to put on a nice little second coat. Of course, if this was a real wall, you'd be doing it in sections. It does take a little while to do because of the it, it's tedious doing the lines, but it's worth it. Come back with your knife, and you're gonna press in. If you need if you need to do the lines a little to highlight it more, you would just. Put product on your trowel, on the knife, and spread it, just like that. See, these are the lines that create this, these lines right here, okay? So on the second coat, we're going to put it on and burnish it. So basically, you're going to put them random, randomly. A little bit here, a little bit over there, stuff like that. Put it somewhat thick. Come back with your knife. You notice the lines look great. If something bothers you, you could come back, reheat it, that's fine. So it takes a little time coming back doing the lines, but it looks very, very nice, you can tell. Okay, now we're gonna wait until this dries for me to do a second coat on it, um, burnishing it up. Basically, when this dries, it will look like this. Okay, if you notice, it, it dried like 40% lighter. Anything with lime dries 40% lighter. Now I'm, gonna, now I'm going to put my second coat on it. Basically, when you do the second coat, you want to go in one direction. You're going to go up or down, basically, to follow these lines. Just like that. up and down. Basically horizontally you're gonna stay. Because if you if you do one of these you're gonna get a straight line this way. You don't want to do that. If you notice, you can see all the lines popping through. All nice and tight. Now, if this was your real wall, you'd be stopping every two to three feet, coming back with your burnishing trowel. Always have a rag with you to keep cleaning your burnishing trowel. Very important. You're gonna burnish it going up and down as well. Keep cleaning it. Keep cleaning it. And basically wherever the lines are at, you wanna look at it and hit it in between the lines just to make sure you polish all the areas around it. Very important. 
when this dries, I'll put a nice silver wax on it. It's gonna look amazing. Now I'm looking at it to see if everything's nice and shiny and everything looks good. It's all nice and polished. So now, while this is drying, I'm gonna show you a demo of the same style, but in Dune. We invented it in Dune as well, but in two tone, two different colors in Dune, and it looks amazing. So while this dries, it'll dry within a minute from now. I'm gonna put it in another room, have somebody blow dry it. I'm gonna be doing the Dune demonstration real quick. This is the Dune demonstration. I already did a first coat. You saw the way I did the lines, just come back with the knives, doing the lines. So basically, we're gonna have the two, two the two colors of Dune ready to go. I'm gonna have a gold and a dark brown ready to go. So the color Dune I'm using is just the 8600. That's the double gold, plain, no tint at all. Cleaning my trial because clean tools are always happy tools, right? We'll come back with the Dune. So here's the lines, come back the same way, okay? It already has one coat of the Doom Gold and then I came back with the lines. Now I'm doing the second coat of the Doom Gold and then right after this I'm going to do the dark brown. Now remember this is not a Venetian plaster meaning I'm not going to come back and burnish it. notice it looks very nice you can leave it like this if you like to but I like to put the other color of the dune for it to pop out more it gives you more of a nice accent and the two colors complement each other very well now I'm gonna come back with the darker dune this dune is 8600-73 okay so basically, I'm coming back while it's still wet. The reason for is for the two colors to blend in well together and dry as one. So you're going to put it on nice and tight. That's the reason why you can see the, the, the gold popping through because it's still wet. This one, you're going to do it in sections. Come back, clean your trowel. and do this to it. This is going to take away any scratches from it. The scratches is coming from the metallic powders inside of the dune. And then after this, what we're going to do is put some of the gold on top of it again, just for a little bit of highlights here and there. Remember the, the scratches are, are normal, it's coming from the metallic powders. So basically doing this is rubbing the dune together, we'll hide that. If it still doesn't, just add a little bit more, rub it until it disappears, very really simple. It's a unique look, something very different. You can leave it like this. Or grab some more Doom Gold on top of it. Put it in areas. Come back. Smear it. So it's basically you're playing with it. You're doing your own two-tone. 
or you could come back with a different color. But this right here is very popular. We do it a lot here in the States. And my primer, if you notice underneath, it's our Nova Lux primer, the, the primer paint. Very simple to do. It's basically three coats you're gonna use. But remember, the last two is basically while they're still wet. Very important. Very easy to do. Now, my, the five marmino that I did in the beginning dried already. This is how it looks when it dries. You can't really tell that much until you put the silver wax. That's why I like to put these different color waxes on top of it. These metallic waxes like the bronze or the gold or the silver because it pops out more. Very important. Here. I'm going to use my silver veladura that we carry. I'll come back with my burnishing trowel. You're going to get very little. You don't want to put too much. And you're going to start, always start on your top. Coming down. Now this is very beautiful, it's very subtle. Remember always going up and down horizontally. And then basically you're gonna come back and buff it with a white rag, but remember you always want the marmarino to absorb it in first before you buff it. Very important. So meaning you'll buff it within a minute or two. In this case, we'll probably have to blow dry it. Because what happens is that if you start um, buffing it too prematurely, you can start rubbing the wax off and start rubbing the marmarino off. fingers to rub it in there in the lines you basically improvise okay now I'm gonna come back with my white rag that's a little dirty great basically I'm gonna take off my tape now you notice underneath was my first coat and the primer we used was the forensic primer with the quartz inside of it very important to put the quartz primer inside of it. So basically, we wanna let the marmarine absorb it. I'm gonna dry it real quick, a little bit. Wanna come back always with your white rag. It's still a little wet, I can feel it. How you know it's a little wet, it's when it starts pulling you. It doesn't let you like slide really nice. If it pulls you, if it's pulling me down here, it's because it's still a little too wet. Meaning you let, let it dry a little more. If you notice with the silver wax, how beautiful it looks. Very subtle. So basically it's an easy technique to do nice in any color dark light even in the metallics that, that you saw as well the metallic I don't know where it's at it's around here somewhere but if you notice it's a beautiful look and this is how we do the Marino Delaney style or the Dune Delaney style very simple to do thank you for watching